This is a fourth example uh, that we're running through. This is actually another mass balance. Uh, the, the first couple that we did um, up to this point were, uh, we started with a mass balance, uh, just a gravity drain tank, went on to the salt water solution, and, uh, and then an energy balance. And we're gonna do the same thing, but this in this case, this is with a funnel. So this is a, um, we're gonna set up a mass balance and then we're going to solve that analytically with a separate and integrate technique and then also in MATLAB uh, using a numerical approach. So it's simple enough that we can solve it analytically, but we can't always do that with these um, expressions. And so we want to also see how to solve this uh, numerically in, in MATLAB. Okay, so here's the, uh, the funnel. Uh, we want to know how the volumetric flow rate changes uh, with time in an oil funnel with an angle of 30 degrees from the vertical. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw here the angle. This one is gonna be uh, 30 degrees. And uh, the volumetric flow rate out is a function of the discharge coefficient, the square root of the pressure drop. Okay, so this expression for the volumetric uh, flow rate leaving the funnel. Okay, so we're gonna set up, first of all, the, our mass balance. Um, we did this in the previous video. I'll go ahead and review it uh, briefly, um, where we have an inlet flow and an outlet flow. Inlet flow was zero, and um, the uh, the mass is going to be the density times the the volume. Okay, and just assuming that it's constant uh, density, and then we have a constant density for the outlet fluid as well. Okay, now we had our V out uh, down here that we're going to plug in. Um, the volume of uh, the, the funnel, um, if we derive that for a cone, it's going to be pi r squared h. Um, and we also know that the tangent uh, uh, theta is going to be equal to r divided by h. And so um, if we plug that in to uh, the volume, solving for r, plug that in, then we have a volume equals pi h cubed uh, tangent theta squared. Okay, so and tangent theta uh, of 30 degrees, and if you square that, you get um, one third. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in uh, one third there. Okay, and then we plug in um, this uh, to the volume and plug in this for V out. Um, and that gives us the, the balance equation. I'm just gonna differentiate this with respect to, uh, uh, so differentiate that um, and get three times pi divided by three h squared uh, dh over dt equals, um, okay, dh dt equals um, negative cv square root of rho g over specific gravity um, divided by uh, pi and then times t2 minus, oh, so on, uh, actually I don't need the pi there. Okay, and then uh, times h to the one half. Okay, so this was our, our balance equation. Okay, those threes are gonna cancel right there. Okay, so we have our balance equation. We're gonna set this up and uh, just solve it analytically first, uh, just with a separate and integrate method, and then we'll solve it in MATLAB as well. Okay, so I'm gonna bring over um, all of my H terms onto one side, and um, so if I, I divide this over here, and then bring my time terms over onto this side, then that gives me um, pi, I'll bring my pi over onto the other side as well. Okay, so that's gonna be h to the 3 halves uh, dh, and I'm gonna integrate that from height one to height two. Okay, and then I have my negative cv square root rho g over specific gravity uh, divided by pi, and I'm going to integrate dt from time one to time two. Okay, so let's just say I started with at zero time and maybe um, 10, uh, a height of 10. Um, we'll just say 10 centimeters in this case. 
Okay, so um, we want to integrate this, and that's going to be um, two fifths um, height two to the five halves minus height one to the five halves um, is going to equal negative CV square root of rho g over specific gravity uh, divided by pi, and then that's going to be t2 minus zero. Okay, and I could plug in uh, 10 here as well. So here's my analytic solution to this. So I can solve for height of two at any time into the future. Okay, so now I also wanna set this up in uh, MATLAB. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm, uh, first of all, download this uh, folder called uh, the AP Monitor Modeling Language. I'm gonna download the, uh, the toolbox for that. Um, and so if I go to apmonitor.com, uh, grab the um, MATLAB interface here, and then uh, download this folder. Um, I just need to copy this first APM folder. That's going to be full of uh, some functions that are going to help me solve uh, this problem. Okay, so once you do that, uh, you can open up a new text file. Just put in these uh, parameters. Um, this is for the uh, oil that we're going to assume is, is draining out of this. I'm going to put an initial condition of 10, and then I have my equation that we had set up previously, um, just going to be pi times h uh, squared times um, dh dt, the dollar sign is dh dt, and then um, everything that I had on the right-hand side. So that's in implicit form and differential form that I'm going to be solving in MATLAB. Okay, I also need to set up um, a couple uh, time points where I want to see my solution. So I just have a time column here with a number of time points. Um, and uh, then I'm going to open up MATLAB and I'll clear everything and uh, close all plots, uh, clear the screen as well. Um, and then here's my numeric uh, simulation. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a path to that APM folder that I downloaded. Uh, the next step is to solve it, uh, solve the funnel problem. Okay, so I, it's going to load in uh, the APM file and the CSV file, and then return the solution to uh, Y. Okay, and then Z, I'm just extracting some of the solution uh, so that I can plot it um, down here. Okay, and then here's my analytic solution as well, the one that I just computed from separate and integrate. And then I'm going to create a new figure. I'm going to plot uh, my height from my numeric simulation. I'm going to hold on to that plot so I can plot another one. And I'll plot my analytic, give it a legend, an X label, and a Y label. OK, so once I um, start the simulation, OK, I can see my uh, draining. Over time, it starts at 10 centimeters. And you can see uh, this is going to drain after about uh, 75 um, seconds or so, you can see that, that it's actually going to drop in height a lot faster at the end because the radius is going to decrease, uh, but there's not going to be as much of a delta pressure drop due to the rho GH. So it's kind of a balance between those two, but you can see the analytic and uh, numeric solution. You see a little bit of deviation there, okay, is it at the end, um, so maybe some finer discretization would uh, help improve uh, that accuracy. Okay, so this, uh, just to summarize um, what we've done then, for this problem, for the, uh, this is for the funnel problem, uh, angle of 30 degrees. Uh, we derived a, from the mass balance, a, an analytic solution. Um, and then we also just started with this um, implicit form and solved that in MATLAB and then compared uh, the two to see how, um, how well our numeric solution agreed with the analytic solution.